Why do diseases keep appearing in China? Wet markets. Wet markets is where live wild animals are killed and sold. The Chinese government allowed wet markets in the 1970s due to famine killing tens of millions of people. People just weren't getting fed. So they turned to the people to start farming and distributing food. In 1988, government made a law which designated wildlife animals as a resource owned by the state and protected people engaged in the utilization of wildlife resources, aka killing and selling wild animals. This is quite uncommon to most other countries in the world, especially non-Eastern countries. It has also encouraged the domestication and breeding of wildlife. We're not talking about pigs and sheep here. We're talking about wild animals. We're talking about bears. We're talking about bats, pangolins. Um, Every wild animal that you can see in a zoo, we're talking about most of them. I like to factory farming. So this is, we're talking about like, everyone knows factory farming. Well, we're talking about like factory farming for wild animals. That is what a lot of the Chinese have been doing in these wet markets. Thus an industry was born. And then this provided cover for an endangered wildlife farming of things like tigers, rhinos, pangolins, as I said. And when they found out SARS was linked to civet cats being sold at wet markets, they banned wet markets. But guess what? After the outbreak was, was over, they lifted the ban. So they, we knew, we knew, we knew that SARS came from civet cats being sold at wet markets. Then they did something about it because they were reactive and then they lifted the ban. Why did they lift the ban? Well, your, our democracy or your democracy is not the same as someone else's communist run totalitarian like government. They can make quick decisions that the people necessarily don't necessarily all agree with. It's another topic, though. So in 2018, this wildlife farming industry was worth $150 billion, an extended influence over the Chinese government and lobbying. So why was it lifted, the ban? Well, that's why. It made a lot of money and it had lobbying capabilities. The demand was driven by wealthy minority who think these wild animals have medicinal benefits. And we know that the evidence on on, on them having medicinal, like, uh, for example... Our uh, bare gallbladder is very sought after, which is such a shame. It's, it's such a terrible misnomer that has affected a wide variety of, of wildlife, including bears. And so there's this minority of wealthy and rich who keep these wet markets going because they will pay a lot. And so that is the root cause of the coronavirus 19. Because guess what? It came from bats that then were transmitted to pangolins, which are then transmitted to humans. That is what we th- we suspect. And guess what the Chinese government did? They shut down the, the wet markets again. So unless there is a pertinent ban, then outbreaks like this will are bound to happen again and again and again. And so, at least now you know. At least now you know. To be aware that wet markets are something that is propagating the spread of mutated diseases. Because when they go from host to host, the virus will continue to mutate. And that there is pressure that we can put on our governments and our community at large to create a better society. There's a quote by Mahatma Gandhi, especially poignant in this situation. The greatness of a nation and its moral progression can be judged by the way its animals are treated. And perhaps we will be treated and judged very harshly in the future by the way we have treated ours.